all right guys what is going on how are you doing superstars um welcome to the introductory part of this course and uh, we're going to be developing a result checking application with php in this particular uh course now i want to welcome you okay i want to welcome you i want to thank you for checking out this course and uh, just give me a few minutes of your time let me walk you through some of the things we're going to be doing in this particular tutorial now for <clears throat> for the rest of this uh, course i'm going to be your instructor uh my name is okere gospel kelsey and uh, i'm a web and digital marketing consultant that is based in lagos nigeria now over the years i have taught over 4,000 students how to code okay and i've been doing this uh, both online and offline okay online through webinars and of course offline attending seminars and trainings all right now um i've also worked with an incredible team of developers across the globe okay from different uh, walks of life africa within my country and several other parts of the world i've worked with teams developing awesome applications so um now in the next slide i'm going to show you uh, what we're going to be developing we're going to be developing a simple application that can be deployed you know to different uh uh, uh, uh aspect actually now uh let me go to the next slide now what are we going to be building in the in this particular course now we're going to be developing an online student results checking web application with php okay and um, the features of this application number one is we're going to be developing an intuitive dash student and admin dashboard so both students and admin are going to have their own dashboard okay now when the student logs in and uh, find themselves in the dashboard they will be able to uh, check their results okay so they to be able to check their results and in your contact uh, 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 the school admin for any issues they are having and all of that okay so basically the student section or dashboard handles the checking of their results and other information that are, are important for them now the next thing is uh, we're going to be limiting the the use of serial number to one student okay so this application also allows you uh, to limit the use of a serial number to one student now this is very very important because in an application like this we do not want a student to you know purchase a pin from the school and at the end of the day share the pin with other students okay so he or she uses the pin and maybe friends as well are able to use the same pin to access their own uh, terminal report we do not want that so we are limiting the use of pin to one student once a student purchases a pin and uses the pin for the first time that pin gets tied okay or gets uh, uh, keyed into the system for that particular student and if another student tries to use the same pin an error will be raised okay that is that number three is that we're going to be setting an expiration date to the serial number okay so you can decide to maybe uh make it a one month expiration you can decide to expire the the, the pin at the end of everything you know thereby uh, making it possible allowing students to always buy a pin at the end of each term to check their terminal report for that particular term okay so i'm going to be showing you how you can do this the easy way is very simple and i promise you i'm going to show you that okay now the next thing is we're going to limit the pin to a number of usage okay now this is not compulsory but if it depends on you it's all uh, user specific okay now if you want to limit the pin to the student uh, for a particular number of usage say five times three times ten times as the case may be so whenever a student uh, purchases the pin and starts using the pin once a student uses the pin for the first time it starts counting okay you log out and log in again it gets incremented okay now by the time you the student reaches the particular number that has been set in the system the student will no longer be allowed to use that particular pin again and will be forced to purchase a new pin from the school to check his or her result okay now that is that now the last but not the least um admin will be the one to generate all the pins that will be used by the students okay the admin will be doing that from his or her dashboard okay so once admin generates the pin 
I mean, we will be able to print out the pins, and of course, students should be able to purchase the pin from the school via the admin. Okay, so that, that this is not all the features that this particular application has. These are just some of the basic features. Okay, that we are implementing the application. Now, by the time we enroll for this course and we proceed, they're going to see more features that are also available in the course. Okay, so in the next slide, we're going to be talking about what you will learn okay what are some of the things you're going to learn after taking this particular course okay now the first thing you're going to learn is one you're going to be uh, touching the basic to advanced concept in the language of php okay php is a very popular language okay for building dynamic web applications so i'm going to be uh, taking you uh, okay by the hand walking you through most of the basic things okay and down to the advanced concepts in this particular language okay so if you're taking this course you should be rest assured that you're going to learn a lot from this particular course before we get to the end of this course okay now the next thing is you're going to build a responsive now responsive in the sense that your application will look nice on every device okay be it a laptop be it a mobile device a tablet and all of that okay so you're going to be building a responsive web application with php and uh, the world most popular frame uh, HTML or and system framework which is bootstrap then ajax we are also going to be writing our native css by ourselves and of course use html to put all the uh, layout together on the markup okay now the next one is you're going to learn how to query my sql database like a pro okay i'm going to be learning how to you know uh, uh join tables okay uh query uh, uh, my school database and uh, you know retrieve data update data in fact i'm going to be performing all of the crude process in my sql okay the create the read the update and the delete so you're going to learn all of these particular things in this particular uh, course okay and also you're going to learn how to talk to server script in real time using ajax you're going to be using ajax to retrieve data from the database without page reload obviously okay we're going to use ajax for our search application we're going to use ajax for our model we are going to be uh, editing student information okay so we are going to be using uh, all of these things okay in the tutorial so join me and of course you are going to learn how to implement these particular features the easy way okay now we're going to also make your application look beautiful on all devices and that will be achieved using bootstrap 4 because bootstrap is designed to look responsive on every device okay now you are going to be designing your markup and style application with html and css and other things also that you're going to be learning which i might not be able to cover in this introductory video okay so the next slide we look at the cost structure okay look at the cost structure now the course is designed in sections okay now every section contains uh, lectures that is in form of video lectures okay and these video lectures we be uh, looking at each of the sections in details all right so whenever we pick a section we are going to uh, 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 add lectures in video format that will describe and tell you everything that is actually contained in that particular uh, section okay now who is this particular course designed for who is this course designed for now this particular course we are not targeting any particular level of people developers all right we're not targeting just beginners or intermediate advanced now as a matter of fact this course is designed for every level of php developers okay be you a beginner be you an intermediate or even an advanced PHP developer you can take this course at this course at every point in time in this section or in the uh, in the outline you are going to find something relevant to you that be useful in your production or in your development process okay so now uh, i'm going to be showing you some screenshots uh for the different section of the application okay now the first i'm going to show you is the student login page okay now this is how the student login page is going to look like uh the students are going to be logging into the system with their username and their password uh, sorry and their uh, registration number in this case okay then they accept this the academic terms and condition and of course click the button that says submit and continue all right now we also have 
uh, ask some validations in check here in case a student decides to, you know, some uh, log in without entering a username or enters the wrong username and all of that. So we are checking to make sure that we are giving the right data by the student before they can access their dashboard. All right, this is very, very important. Okay, and I'm going to show you how you can implement that very easily. Then after the student uh, logs in successfully, the next you're going to present them with is, of course, their dashboard. Okay, now this is a, a dashboard for a typical student in the system. Now, uh, once a student is in his or her dashboard, that particular student will be able to check his or her results by completing the short form on the left. Okay, now the first information we are requiring from the student is the card serial number. Okay, once student enter the card serial number, he or she has to enter the generated PIN, of course, which is the 5141, that is the example of the PIN below, okay? And uh, obviously, select examination year, and the last PIN there is the examination term. So, once the student selects that and click on check result, we are going to fetch the student result on the next page, provided that the result has been uploaded by the admin, okay? So, the next uh, screenshot I will show you will be the admin login page. So here, admin has to enter username and password and click on login to continue, okay? Then the last but not the least will be the admin dashboard. So this is the admin dashboard of the application. Now, the admin dashboard has about two sections here. The first is where admin has to uh, use in uploading student results, okay? There we have the student class and we are fetching the student class by ages in return. Once you select, you select a class, automatically the name of the student loads with that page refresh. I'm going to show you how to implement that in the application using Ajax. Okay. Then once the student's name is selected, the next thing here is examination year, and of course examination term. And the admin selects a PDF file containing the result of the student before uploading. Now, if you look at the right hand side, we have uh, the four links there, which is menu, uh, the menu section. But the first is the dashboard. The next is the view pin request and the view uploaded results, the view all students and of course generate pins where this admin can use to generate pin for the system. Now, um, um, after this introductory video, I think the two more videos in the preview section will show you, uh, will give you a complete tour of the student section and the admin section. So I encourage you to watch that video as well so that you can see the complete tour of the student section and the admin section all right so guys i really appreciate your time and i want to thank you for checking this course out okay now i can assure you that uh, you're going to learn a whole lot of things in this particular course and at the end of this course you should be able to you know take the skills you've learned from this course and do even more beautiful and awesome applications uh, using php so i thank you guys and of course i want to take this course and work for this course and together we're going to build something awesome so i'm going to see you in the course and i am again a very good by kelsey web digital marketing consultant i've seen the course and thank you very much for taking this particular course.